Hi guys, I'm Jesse at strobepro.com and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new product, the 63 inch parabolic deep umbrella. This thing is huge. It comes with a diffusion cover, which is a new addition to it. It's fiberglass rods, extremely well built and gives some unbelievable lighting characteristics. Let's take a look at it right now. So every uh, 63 inch pair deep umbrella is gonna come with a carrying case. It's got a shoulder strap on it as well. Uh, it's nice and durable to protect your umbrella. Just pull that guy right out of there and we can set it up now. So guys, before we set up this umbrella on our strobe, what we wanna do is make sure that we've got an umbrella reflector installed on the strobe. And you'll notice we've got a punch out on this reflector. This is a seven inch that we're using, which is what we recommend. And we're gonna put this on a Strobe Pro X Pro strobe here. Whether you're using our 300M or a different brand, you just gotta make sure that you're lining this hole up with the umbrella uh, bracket mounted on your strobe. Ours is up on the top on the X Pro. So we're going to mount this hole up top, just attach it. And now I know that that hole is lined up right across here so the umbrella shaft will go right through there. So let's put the umbrella on. Um, to set this up, basically you're just going to reach in, get the umbrella shaft there and you're just sliding, just like an umbrella, not that complicated, until it locks in. From there, as I just showed you, we installed that reflector on the strobe. We're gonna put it through the reflector through the strobe and in. So right away you can see how huge this thing is and the results that it creates because of its size are a beautiful soft um, light. Now compared to a regular umbrella, what the parabolic does is it just focuses that light a little bit more. With the regular umbrella, you're gonna have a kind of a wider spill. The parabolic kind of narrows that beam down and it gives you kind of a cross between, you know, a beauty dish and, you know, a soft box somewhere in between there. It's just a unique characteristic, which is why they're so popular right now. Now, this material that we use here, we're using the silver um, because your 63-inch uh, deep para is going to come with a cover. So the silver just gives us some extra punch if you're using a lower powered light. You don't have to worry about not having enough power to fill this thing up. We've also uh, used our crosshatch material on here, which is a pro grade material for the umbrella. We're also using uh, fiberglass poles, which cut down on the weight and make it super durable. So built pro grade to be used every day, just like every other Stro Pro product. Okay guys, when we want to use the outer diffusion material, um, the easiest way is to take that reflector off and put the material on first. So as I showed you, we've got an opening here. It's got a drawstring. We're going to make sure that that drawstring is retracted and opened. And you want to make sure your strobe is off. Do not do this with your modeling lamp or your strobe on, um, just for safety reasons. So we're coming in the front of the material here, and we're just going to put that directly over top of our strobe here, okay? So once it's sitting there, that's great. We can push the material back, and now we can pop on our reflector again, again, making sure the hole is lined up. And your strobe may have a different position here, but that's no problem. Put the umbrella back through there. And now we can put on the diffusion material. So these little eyelets that we talked about before, we're just gonna start easy. Usually it's easier to start on the top. If you're not really tall, you might need a stool or you can just rotate it down. But if you start on the top, and we're just hanging it there basically. And I'm just gonna rotate the umbrella as I go around here. There's no force, anything, we're just kind of dropping these on as we go. And there is 16 of them to do, but it's pretty quick once you get the hang of it. You might notice I'm kind of bending the umbrella in right now 
but that's okay. We're going to form that up in just a second when we have the cover on. Okay. So you notice this looks all twisted and everything. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix it right now. We're going to take our material on here and just kind of make sure it's lined up on the strobe. Again, if you're, this, this hole is offset. So if your umbrella mounts from the bottom on your strobe, this might be in a little bit different position for you. Once we do that, the umbrella is going to start to take its form back and we're just going to make sure that the material is pushed to the back here. We just want to turn that all back like that. And there we go. I'm just kind of moving this around and the umbrella, umbrella's taking shape and you'll know because it's a flat, even surface now. If we want, we can take this, tighten it down. Now, we don't recommend running the modeling lamp for long periods of time. If you need to get focused, turn it on, you know, aim your umbrella and then turn it off because your fan and your strobe is usually in the front and it's pushing the heat inside the box. So you want to be able to let it cool down and not just generate a bunch of heat. If you're not going to be using it for a while, you could open a corner on the end there just to let it vent out a little bit. But you can see here, I mean, I'm 6'1", and this light is easily going to wrap around me. This is absolutely beautiful for newborn photography. You can light the entire set with one light. It gives you beautiful, soft, kind of directional light there. It's also great if you're doing kind of hierarchy fashion stuff. Um, your model against a wall, you want like a, you know, kind of Vogue type look. Uh, you can just use one light, light the whole scene. Even groups, you can almost light with just this huge umbrella here. So to take this thing apart, basically we just do the exact opposite of what we just did. These come off really easy. Pull them all down again. Fusion material is off. We're going to pull the umbrella out. And we've got a little clip here. Um, you can see right by my finger there. That just releases the whole umbrella. So we want to kind of just push up a little bit. You see there's a little bit of play. Push up, push the umbrella release, slides down, closes up. To fit it back in the bag, I find it easier. Take all the rods and you're just going to kind of twist it like this until it gets to the end and then we can put it in the bag. So again, pop it in the bag. As it's going in, just kind of twist it. That tightens down the outer layer there. Pop that in. We've got the carrying strap. So guys, the 63 Paradeep umbrella is an amazing price. It's the highest quality. It will compete with the highest end brands out there. This is not the kind of quality you're getting on eBay, Amazon, that stuff. This is in a different league. It's professional gear um, at affordable prices. Check it out on our website. And until next time, I'm Jesse at strowpro.com. Mm -hmm.